After the donor interview, medical history and vital signs give the green light for donation. The actual blood collection process begins. A phlebotomist will confirm the donor's name to make sure the blood collection set matches the donor in the chair. The phlebotomist will check the donor's arm to find the best vein for the donation and will gently scrub the inside of the elbow with a bacteria killing solution. When the needle is actually placed, a lot of people who may have been worried about the needle are pleased to discover that it's merely a pinch. And then they feel nothing at all. It's not like getting a vaccination into muscle which can ache afterward. Go ahead and squeeze, gentle squeeze. The donor may give a whole blood donation which takes about 10 minutes. Or the blood center can use special equipment to collect one or more specific blood components at one donation. This allows blood centers to tailor the blood donation for each donor while meeting patient specific needs. If you'd like to learn more about the different kinds of blood donation, please ask a member of the blood center staff. Most donors have a very pleasant donation experience. However, if any discomfort should occur, blood center staff are trained to respond right away. The collection needle is attached to tubing that takes the blood from the donor's arm to the blood collection bag. A unit, or about a pint, of whole blood is collected, along with some extra tubes that will be used for testing. Adults usually have between 10 and 12 pints of blood at any given time, so we can spare a pint or more. There is a waiting period between donations so that the donor's body can completely replace the whole blood or component given. Once the blood collection process is complete, donors relax in the refreshment area for about 15 minutes. Most donors feel great after donating, but sometimes the donor doesn't feel well. Donor reactions are rare and usually mild and are most likely to occur in the first few minutes after the donation. Sometimes people become lightheaded or dizzy. This can often be avoided by eating a good meal and drinking lots of fluids before the donation. It's good for donors to spend about 15 minutes in the refreshment area to make sure they're ready for the rest of their day. While a whole blood donation is collected into a single bag, it's actually made up of several different components that can be separated and given to different patients. That means a number of people can benefit from one unit of your blood. Whole blood consists mainly of a mixture of red blood cells, platelets, and plasma. Red blood cells carry oxygen throughout the body. They're helpful for surgery in sickle cell patients and accident victims who've lost blood, since oxygen is vital to healthy tissue and promotes healing. Platelets help blood clot in order to stop bleeding. They're used for cancer and leukemia patients whose platelets have been damaged by chemotherapy. Plasma is a golden colored liquid that carries proteins and many other substances as well as the red blood cells and platelets. It is often used by patients who need special blood clotting factors. And cryoprecipitate is a concentrate of special clotting substances derived from plasma, including factor VIII and fibrinogen. It is used in situations where the patient has suffered massive blood loss. To separate a whole blood donation into components, the collection bags are carefully weighed, then placed into a large centrifuge. This piece of equipment spins the blood at a high rate of speed, which causes the components to separate. The heaviest component, red cells, sink to the bottom, and the rest of the components separate into layers. This way, each component can be easily separated into its own packaging. As an alternative to making a whole blood donation, there are ways a donor can donate just one component of blood at one time, platelets maybe, or plasma, or even a double unit of red blood cells, the blood component that is the most often transfused. During this type of donation, the component separation is done in a special blood collection machine right next to the donor chair. Once you've had some snacks and are sure you're ready for the rest of your day, you can be on your way knowing that your blood will make a powerful difference for patients and the people who love them.